Kill Servers is one of the best web hosting services in Nigeria for a lot of reasons. I've used several other web hosting services in Nigeria and any day, any time, if you have a need to host your website on a local web hosting service, then I highly recommend Kill Servers. And even if you're not in Nigeria and you're looking for a very cheap web hosting service, then use Kill Servers. In this video, I will show you how to complete your Kill Servers sign up after you must have registered your domain name and hosted it on the Kill Servers hosting plan. I already recorded a video that show you how to register your domain name with Kill Servers web hosting from scratch and how to host it on Kill Servers web hosting plans. The video is currently displayed on your screen and I will also leave the link to that video in the video description below. Also, I have added the link to sign up with the cheap Q server web hosting in the video description. You can click on it and sign up with the Q server's web hosting. So this video is more or less like a continuation of that very video, so you should check it out. So now that I assume that you have completed your Q server sign up, just go to the inbox of the email that you use to register with Q servers. Here is mine. What you want to do here is to look for a message sent to you by Q servers. You might see a series of messages, but the one you're looking for is this one that has your cPanel login details in it. So check it out. Sometimes it may take up to 10 minutes or even more before you get this email. If that happens to you, just be patient and wait for it. So as you can see here, this particular email has your cPanel login details in it. And once you get this mail, then you can go ahead and complete the next phase of your website sign up, which is to access your cPanel account. So, to access cPanel, either click on this link here or open another tab on your web browser and type in this URL, your website URL slash cPanel. So, for instance, my website URL here is gwritenetworks.com.ng. So my cPanel is going to be gride.com.ng forward slash cPanel. If you open up this page, if you're getting an error page, then wait a little and try again. It's probably because your new website has not yet propagated. So here, I have to log in. The login details will be generated by my web host, in this case, QServers. So, if you check this email I just told you about, you will see both your login username and password in it. Just copy your username and paste it in here. And also copy your password and paste it. Then sign in. Congrats, you have done very well. So let's quickly move to the next step, which is to set up our preferred content management system so we can build our website. Your content management system or CMS is the application that you will be using to design your website. I'm sure you already know about WordPress. Well, that's an example of a CMS and it's by far the most popular and the best. So I'll be demonstrating how to set up your WordPress in this video. So, just scroll down to the software section and find the software called WordPress Manager by Softaculous here. Yeah? This can also be done by the Softaculous App Manager here. So, I'm going to click on it. And then it brings you up to this point. Then you want to come in here and click on Install. Click the drop down arrow and select HTTPS. Leave your website URL as it is here. Clear this directory box here because you want it empty. So here, set up your own admin username and password as you like it and you know you won't forget it or you can write it down somewhere to keep it safe because you will always need it to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. Remember that this is also case sensitive. So now click the install button to finish installation process. Wait a while. And congrats, your WordPress account is now active. Now, there are two ways for you to get to your WordPress admin area that you have just installed. 
The number one way is that you can get there by clicking the link here. But this is not always the easiest method because you don't always want to come here before you can have access to your WordPress admin area. So the second way is for you to open your browser and then type in the WordPress area URL directly, which will be your website URL forward slash WP iPhone admin. So for example, mine would be gride.com.ng forward slash WP admin. So I'll enter. So here, remember the username and password we set while installing our WordPress. You want to input them in here correctly and then log in. Congrats! Now you are in the admin dashboard of your WordPress and you can now go ahead and start building your website from here. If you want me to record a comprehensive website design with WordPress, then let me know in the comment section and I will make a very easy to follow video for you to be able to do that and it's going to be very easy for you as a beginner. As you can see that I already did that with this set of videos I've already created. So if you got value from this video, please give it a like and if you are an unsubscribed visitor to this channel, you're welcome to the community. I make videos on digital marketing, money and digital business and if you love to see videos like this one, then subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert notification so you get to know when I release my next videos. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.